All right, so ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do for this problem is we have Earth here. All right, here's Mother Earth, and we have a GPS satellite. Now, what the question is asking us is um, they want us to find the angle of depression from the satellite to the horizon. Assume the radius of the Earth is 4,000 miles. So what we're going to look at here is when doing this problem, I have one side of my triangle, and I have my other side of my triangle. However, I need to find this angle of depression. Well, to find this angle of depression, it's probably going to be helpful to notice that we have here my, this is my tangent, um, tangent line to the orbit of my satellite. So my tangent line is going to be perpendicular to uh, this direct line to the Mother Earth. So therefore, to find this angle of depression, it's probably going to be helpful to notice that this angle theta, theta plus my angle of depression is going to equal 90 degrees. All right? Because this is going to be a whole tangent line, so therefore that's going to add up to be 90 degrees. So I need to be able to figure out theta. Well, to be able to figure out theta, I need to understand um, what two side lengths I have. Since here's my right angle, I'm going to have one leg, and I'm going to have the hypotenuse. So this leg is going to be my opposite side, and then I need to determine what the hypotenuse is. Now, it's important for us to understand this distance only goes to the end of the Earth. So therefore, the whole hypotenuse is actually going to be 12,500 plus 4,000, which is 16,000. 500. Now what we need to do is create an equation to be able to find theta. So since I have the opposite and my hypotenuse, I can use the trigonometric function of sine. sine. Right. So therefore I have uh, sine of theta equals opposite divided by hypotenuse. Therefore, by practicing our inverse trigonometric functions, we could say sine of theta equals inverse sine of 4,000 divided by 16,500, right? Because we want to figure out what theta is. So this is in our definitions we worked with in 4.7. So therefore, I'm just going to take this answer divided by 16,500. Then we'll do inverse sine, second answer. So I'm going to get an angle of 14.03. So theta equals... 14.03, or approximately. All right? Therefore, now to find my angle of depression, I'm just going to do 90 minus theta equals angle of depression. And I'll just make it really nice, sloppy. And so, therefore, I'm going to have um, uh, 95, uh, 97. Oh, I'm sorry, not 95, um, 75, 07, 75, 97, right? 75, what am I thinking about? 70, well, it's going to be 76. Is that right? It's 75.97. Huh? 75.97, 75. yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll just, we're going to leave it just at two decimal places because that's what I'm going to OK, so that would be your angle of elevation. Does that make sense? So notice, guys, the difference of sometimes we're just going to, when we're trying to find, um, you know, if we're not given our angle, remember, we've got to use our inverse, we got to use our inverse um, functions. OK? So just remember to rewrite that. Okay. 